Hello, I am Sangeeta. I am a joyful excellence coach, which in short means that you should love your work at workplace and be happy about that. How you achieve your goals and all the aspirational uh, goals and meaningful mission with being happy at the first is very simple, but it requires practice. Beforehand, we had a society wherein the elders were used to be our counsellors, advisors. But right now, the generation has changed and of course, there are many technological evolution that has happened and the culture also has changed, which is why we cannot go back to their wisdom, maybe that is part of that, but you know, at the core, being happy is the most essential thing, whether you trust it or not, believe it or not. But when I started being happy, that is when people started trusting me more. Now, in which place do you uh, have to be so that uh, your happiness means a lot for the entire workplace? That is something Everybody asks me, well, you know, no matter wherever you are, you can make a difference to the entire place. How? Suppose your maid doesn't do her work properly. Can you have a peaceful day? So, the role of the maid matters in your life. Even if you are a person of average status, right? It doesn't matter, but everybody needs to own their responsibility. So that is what required. That is how you matter for the entire setup of the organization, no matter which place, which status, which position you are. So how do you achieve your joy? Because so far you haven't experienced any joy out of your work. Maybe you don't value your work much or maybe because of the workplace issues, maybe because uh, uh, you, you, you work in silo, you are the lone person who works. Maybe because you don't like to be in a crowd, you want to do your work and come back home. Maybe that is the reason. Maybe you, do, you are not able to trust anybody, but in a team setup, you to grow, you need a team. Maybe you stay angry for most of the time because of something, you know, because of some experience of ours, we stay angry with people who are, are not the reason for our anger. Maybe you are very, uh, very rigid to your habits, whatever habits you have, you are very proud of those, doesn't matter. Maybe you attract a lot of conflicts. Maybe. You do your work, but you you haven't thought about the achievement part, the outcome part. Maybe for something you have remained depressed, very practical reason and very genuine reason as well. Maybe you are not good at coordinating because you don't want to expose your juniors when they don't work. You don't want to tell that in front of your seniors. All this can create irritation at workplace, you don't like your work anymore. But suppose, imagine, dream that someday a small change in your habit will bring all this thing around you. You become the master of your circumstances. You start influencing people. People start taking note of whatever you are doing, whatever you are saying and uh, whatever you are proposing. How will be your life then? Just think a bit. So, what will happen in that case is, you, know, you start uh, thinking about the small things that you do, or the big things that you do. Maybe you think big, but because of this environment you are not able to do, you start achieving all this. What happens, you know, 
your life becomes meaningful. We all look for significance. Why we are here and we want to be appreciated, right? After roti, kapura or makkan, we want significance. Everybody, each of us does. So, the, I work for that significance and it starts with joyful excellence. So, if you agree with me and you lack anything in your life on this or you want a road map how to go, how to achieve that, then here I am to support you because that is what I have experienced in the last 25 plus years of my work and I have trained 20,000 plus people offline of course but this will be, this can be done online and more effective way I can do and also with the course material I have a community in which people act, communicate with each other, they will give you answers to your question if you choose to question, if you care to question. Asking question is also one important thing, right? It, it implies a very significant mindset. Agree with me? If so, then you can book a call uh, below this video. Uh, with the link below this video so that your time and my time will be saved and also with that we can have better coordination you will, you will soon realize see when I say book a call with this calendar link it requires some technical aspect to be handled my recent experience with other clients is like said they were expecting a call from me not a call but if required, I'll call. But if it is a face-to-face -face conversation, it is better than that, right? And also you get a recording of that conversation for future reference. Of course, I am not going to share that with anybody. If that is there, then we can book a call and uh, yeah, you can ask me questions and we can get started on that journey. Thank you very much.